or two rooms constructed on the inside for filming. Uh, so we do a little bit of filming inside these homes, but for the most part, they are facades. We have to construct a lot of these interior sets inside our sound stages. This very last house on the right uh, with the staircase on the outside is a fully practical set, though. It was used for a television show called Abby's. It was the site of a backyard bar. Not only is that house fully practical, they can also hold a live studio audience in there for filming. If you take a look at your screens, you'll see a few more places where you might have recognized Colonial Street throughout the years. That's Herman Monster House. And a couple more exciting things that filmed on Colonial Street that were not included in that montage. A Smash Mouth filmed their all-star music video out there. And the new TED TV show has been recently doing a lot of filming on Colonial Street as well. This road that we're traveling up right now is what we call Wilderness Road. Uh, the 1999 film The Mummy, starring Academy Award winner Brendan Fraser. And honestly, if you ask me, it's really convenient that we have this parking lot here because uh, it backs up to this super cute little bed and breakfast that's here on our back lot. It's called the Bates Motel. I've never stayed here before, but I've heard great things about it on Yelp. Uh, but the manager, though, Norman Bates, mixed reviews on him. I feel like you either love him or you hate him. <laughs> Motel. Oh, uh, that's Norman Bates. What a weird coincidence. Huh, I wonder what he's up to. Oh, that is so thoughtful. He's bringing that sleeping woman to her car. Oh, wait a minute. And he saw us. Uh, we, we didn't see anything. Oh, no. He's got a knife. Yeah, we gotta go. Uh oh Norman, I know you have trouble. Oh, car four is coming for you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> was a close one. We got out of there just in time. Still though, I think we should uh, continue up this psycho path and put some more distance between Norman and our tram. Uh, coming up on the left-hand side of the tram, I do have another original set piece from the 1960 film Psycho for you. It is the Psycho House. Man, that Norman Bates, he is just plain scary. And you know what else is pretty scary? A Martian attack, as evidenced by this crash site here. This is from Steven Spielberg's 2005 film War of the World, starring Tom Cruise. Here to tell us a little bit more about this area is set designer Rick Carter and director Steven Spielberg. The airplane crash site set is a perfect example of a set that is all designed around a vision that Stephen had. When we first began to sit down to talk about the war of the world, I thought, what if the 747 goes down right in a big neighborhood? Because it's, it's just something you don't see. You're doing good. Oh, you're doing good. Thank you for listening to me. That's what you're doing. Listen, I want you to close your eyes, okay? Okay. Stand closed. Mommy. Robbie, get in. Get in. Microwave. Wow. Yes, this is a real 747 out here. Steven Spielberg purchased it from an airplane graveyard for about $60,000, but it ended up costing them about $200,000 to get it brought here, so I guess what they say is true. It really is always the shipping and handling where they get you. But, you know, taking a look at that plane out there, I think Steven Spielberg got it for a really great price. Some might even say half off. If you're wondering why the top half of the plane is missing, it's just because it wouldn't fit under the freeway overpasses when they were driving it here, so they had to shear it off. 
They intended to put it back together, but Spielberg liked the look of it so much he decided to leave it the way that it was. The set is modeled after a real neighborhood in New Jersey, so they did some filming on location in that neighborhood, as well as here on our back lot. And this entire set took about four and a half weeks to construct, and it only got about four and a half minutes of screen time in the entire movie. Now, it should come as no surprise. What? A little further down, you can see the brand new Star Lasso Experience. Built to showcase an unbelievable new live show. Oh, it's not looking so live anymore. Anyway, behind this Hollywood fantasy of a gold rush frontier town lies a sinister secret. It is smack death and sent you. Take that as the cue for us to uh, get out of there. Hey, Juan, can you turn the key and peel out of here for us? Now, I don't know about you all, that whole thing has me a little freaked out, so I think we should find somewhere safe to pull into, kind of regroup, but just, you know, make sure everybody's doing it. Oh, coming into mind, this has never happened. Hello? Hello? Who is this? My name is Roman Pierce. Thank you. 